Hi, this is Brianna Hansen with my Contoso University Assignment Overview, and this is my homepage. Let's go look at the requirements. Delete any homepage or template-based tutorial dialog. So on the homepage, I changed that to students, courses, instructors, and departments with a little note about what's in each. The header and the footer don't have any tutorial dialog, and then each of the titles have been changed. We have students index, courses index, instructors index, departments index, and then in each of these buttons down here on the side, you go to these pages, we now have edit department and department details and delete department. So student courses and instructors are also the same so that we know when we're on a page, which one we're editing or changing. Use an image on the home page. So here's our university fictional setting with the building with students on the background of the Jumbotron. And then use a Google font shared reference. So this is a Google fonts reference right here. That's a serif font for all of the headings. And then also in the header and the footer for Contoso University. Add a color scheme beyond the black and gray. So we have red and white here, or red and black. And then we have red buttons. And then we have red links. So to go with the change in colors and change up the theme. Make sure all labels on forms are written in readable form. So we have last name and first name and enrollment date are all separated. And the, again here, last name, first name, hire date, and start date. And then also when we go in here and look at some of these, the start date is set apart. So those are all how they should be. And on the instructors page, we have I don't think we have any down here we need to worry about. So all the labels are as they should be. Format any report to use good park principles of design. So again, with the responsiveness of the website, I changed it so that as the page gets smaller, that columns hide so that it still fits in the page. And then also on the home page, I changed the layout so that the sections are stacked or else there's two columns or a grid with, with four columns, depending on the size here. And another change I made was on the instructors page on the edit and create, I'm sorry, hit the wrong button. Let's go to create. Um, I changed this so that it was two cells wide instead of three so that they wouldn't be so squished and that they would not have um, words stacking on each other. And this way everything lined up better. And then on the about page, we need to have the contact information. So here is the contact information with my name, my email, and my phone number. And then that takes care of all of the requirements. So let's go look at this in action a little bit. So on the students page, we can add a new student. Let's go ahead and add a new one. We're gonna make it an easy last name so that it pulls up right away. So here's our new student, and then we can go edit that and change a name and save that. And now our name is changed and we can also go delete a student. So we can also go search. So let's go, let's see. Let's pick one that's not right in the middle. Let's pick justice. I'm in the missing middle, so we can search and that name pulls up. And then we can also sort by last name, ascending and descending, and enrollment date also ascending and descending. And then we can do next, and we can do previous on all of those. And then on the courses, we can go create a new course. Oops. Let's do some three credits here. Select department, not the right kind, but it still works. So we have art and then we can go edit it. Let's make this four credits, save that. And that has now been changed. And we can go look at the details and then we can go delete a course if we want to delete a course. So let's skip over to departments. We can create a new department. Let's do art and give it a budget and a start date. 
and then give it an administrator. And now we have a new uh, art department down here at the bottom. And we can go see our details. And then we can go edit this. So maybe let's change this to business. And we can see that that has been changed. And then I can also go and delete the department. So for instructors, we can add a new instructor. And we can add in a date. Let's add in the office location, a couple courses. And here we see we have our new instructor right here. And we can go edit this. Let's just go change the name. Change a course. And hit save. And we can see the name has been changed and trigonometry has been added in. So we can also go look at the details for an instructor. And then we can also go delete an instructor. And then now you can see Tyler Hansen has been removed from the list. So that is all the parts and pieces to how the video works or how the application works. I will make a second video that's validation so that if it's needed, it will be there.